Let's take a minute or two to look at the newest and probably the most powerful electro pick on the market. This is the new Kronos made by Multipick in Germany. That's a company well known for its high quality products and design. And this Kronos really is no exception. If you look closely at the electro pick itself, you'll notice right away they've done a lot of ergonomic things like put little cutouts on the battery compartment. So even if your hands are wet or if they're sweaty, it makes it easy to remove and replace the battery very, very quickly. They've also inset some rubber O-rings here. Again, if your hands are sweaty or you're working in the rain, it makes it much easier to grip without sliding around. In terms of controls, there's really only two controls on this tool. Uh, you have the on-off switch located right here. And then we have the uh, needle range adjustment screw located here. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use this, but basically if you have a wide open keyway, in other words, uh, non-paracentric and not a lot of warding, you can unscrew this to give that needle the maximum amount of vertical range so it can gather a lot of momentum before it strikes those pins. On the other hand, if you got a keyway with a very paracentric or a lot of warding, not a lot of room to work, you would tighten this down to limit how much that moves up and down and prevent it from striking on the warding. Because when it strikes on the warding or it hits on a paracentric keyway, that's when it takes energy away from this needle. There's also been a lot of discussion about how to hold this. And I've used this tool both in Europe and in North America. And I have to say, there's no right way. In other words, you can't say that this is up or that is up. It strikes with equal energy in both directions. So if you want to pick it with your on-off button on the top, that's fine. If you want to pick it down on the bottom and use the on-off button as kind of a trigger, that works equally as well. And to prove that to you, let me go ahead and uh, set up a couple of the most common locks found in North America. Put the battery in this thing, and I'm going to show you exactly how well and how effective this Kronos tool is. By far, the most common lock in the United States is this guy, the Quickset. Probably put on about 70% of new home construction because it's cheap. Not known for its tight tolerances. It also rarely has security pins. These are usually very easy to uh, electro pick open. I just bought this one from Home Depot. It has quite challenging bidding, which that in itself is quite unusual. But uh, let's see if we can't electro pick this guy open. If there's a single secret to electro picking, it's don't over tension. I see too many guys putting a lot of tension on the tensioner. And when you do that, you're going to seize up all the pins. They have to be free floating. So very light touch. Let the electro pick do all of the work. So slide it in. Try to keep the needle as level as possible. So slide it all the way in until it stops. And that's when it's pressed against the back of the lock and then withdraw it a little bit so that it's not engaged with the actuator. Very light tension and, and use the electro pick in pulses. If you drop your tension wrench or if you've given it three or four pulses and it hasn't opened, reset it, try it again. And that is how quick it is to get an open on a quick set, even with bidding like this. All right, this is often replaced by homeowners with another lock called the Schlage, a higher quality lock that does have security pins. Let me get one of those set up and let's see if we can electro pick that open. This is the second most common lock found in North America. It is a Schlage five pin found in a lot of homes, uh, new construction, and also businesses. Again, this one works perfectly. Brand new from Home Depot. There's what your bidding looks like on this guy. So not bad. These are better locks. Um, they have better tolerances between the body and the core, so tighter fit. We have security pins in this, usually spool pins, uh, as well as a slightly paracentric keyway. So now instead of going straight up and down, I may have to angle it a little bit to give the needle a direct shot for those pins. So let's go ahead and put a tensioner in there. Same tensioner as before. Just want to make sure it doesn't bind on the bottom of the lock, and this one doesn't. Very, very light tension. Insert my needle all the way to the back, retract it just a bit, angle it, and start giving pulses. Now at some point, like right now, we've got what's called a fault set. And that tells me that it started to turn, but it hung up on a security pin. If it does that, just reset it. Slide your needle back in, except this time, instead of going in level, angle it a little bit, like maybe with your tip up or your tip down, or you can even move back and forth while you're pulsing. Uh, we're trying to uh, affect the timing of those pins to allow the spool pin 
or the security pin to set a little bit earlier at the shear line. And there we go. Even with security pins, it's not impossible to get in if you have a Kronos. All right, you've seen how effective the Kronos is. Get into locks very, very quickly. What a tool. What else do you get inside of this kit? Well, of course, you get the battery. This is a standard 18650 battery. This one is 2900 milliamp hours. And I've learned that this gives me about 30 minutes of electro picking before it runs dry. Uh, I always carry an extra battery. They only cost about $8, so I carry another pre-charged one in my kit. If you forget that, though, uh, Multipick also gives you a fast charger. And when they say fast, they mean it. You can take a completely run-down battery, put it inside of here, plug it into a USB source, and within about 15 minutes, it'll bring that battery back up to about 70 to 80% charge. So very, very fast charger. Um, we get a total of five needles, all stainless steel. I've got one installed and there are four more inside of here. And if you're going to replace the needles, you're going to need the Allen screw to do that with. And they give you one. They also give you two tensioners of different widths. Both of these are stainless steel. So everything you need to start electro picking locks is right here in this kit. So if you're looking for a top of the line kit, look no further than the Kronos. This is the one you're looking for.